You're all a bunch of fucking assholes. You know why? You don't have the guts to be what you want to be. You need people like me. I got, 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 got. Taking no breaks. Yeah, gotta do what it takes. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, God, God, God. In my most recent video, I explained, well, I fixed an air leak in this. It's not leaking air right now, but what I need to do is I need to move this car over there onto the street so I can have enough space to work on the Supra. Now, the Supra is the highlight of today's video. Basically, I'm going to be putting it back together. Um, to be honest, I don't think I'm going to be putting on the rear bumper. I'm going to run the rear bumper for a little bit without it, and I'm going to just, like, tape my license plate somewhere you, you know how it goes but um i'm not gonna be putting on the rear bumper today just because of the fact that i am going to see how much it costs to get it repainted now this car's paint ever since i took off the wrap has been in some not the best shape so we're gonna have to look into getting this thing painted obviously not the full car but at least some of it you know what i'm saying the bumpers etc but um for the most part gonna be putting back on the side skirts the door garnish the fenders the gas cap and all the interior pieces um i still have no door handles to be honest i had to call toyota because i don't think i i think i dropped the torque screw that goes into the handle to be honest with you so i just called toyota and ordered some and they won't be here till like next week so i could possibly be driving the car with no door handles but we'll see but for the most part she's really dirty she needs a wash and we're gonna just take care of getting this thing on the road i might not even put the wing on yet but hey man i just want to drive this thing even at its worst stage sometimes you just gotta love things at its worst to love them at the best you know so what we're gonna be doing is the sun might be going down soon it's about like six o'clock so I'm probably gonna get started. I don't know if I'm gonna film everything, but I will get started on getting some of the things back onto the car. Now, with that being said, I gave you guys the rundown of what I'm going to be doing today in this video, or it might carry on till tomorrow, which is Saturday. But I'm gonna give you guys, I gave you guys a rundown. Now, let's just get into it. I just gotta change, throw on some work pants or something, and we go from there, so. If you haven't already bro like this video now i fully removed the wrap off of these side skirts and i'm just probably just gonna throw them on my bumpers are downstairs as well as my other door varnish and if we go into this room right here one of my fenders is here i also took the wrap that i had wrapped it with off so everything needs to go back on the car it's gonna be a little hard recording because it might get dark and i also have to fix the wagon She's alive, she's moved. We got a junkyard find, Supra. But um, one thing I just noticed, I popped my hood, right? So I popped my hood and I just realized my intake's missing a bolt. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that right there. You see this piece? Should be screwed into right there and that's why this has been sagging. So I need to find a bolt to at least go into there to hold this up. And also, my engine bay is completely dirty as hell. Look, I have webs everywhere, bro. <laughs> it's like we literally found this car in Forza. But, um, yeah, I gotta put her together and probably give both these cars a wash. Maybe tomorrow, I'm thinking. Give them a wash because this car is really, really super dirty. But, um, yeah, whoa. Oh, yeah, that's from... I was like, huh? But... My exhaust kind of melted my diffuser. 
But yeah, um, simple today. We're just gonna be getting this bad boy at least in decent looking shape, even though when it has its bumpers and stuff so on, it's not really painted. So definitely gotta work towards getting this thing repainted and at least resprayed and refreshed so that she's good and like new. Guys, I've been driving the wagon so much lately that probably when I drive this thing, it's about to feel way faster <laughs> than what it is because I haven't driven it in so long. But um, the sun's starting to go down. Don't think I can get the best footage out of putting this thing back together. But basically, in the next part, well, my brother's leaving. This car should be back at least somewhat together. Okay, all the pieces, stock pieces, are out and around the car literally just put the side skirts on um i haven't done that other side yet it's literally super easy you just push it on and then you just screw back in underneath simple simple process i have to clean off all this residue from the old door garnish i had that was carbon fiber so um i'm not sure if i have to really put double-sided tape on these but because it has all the clips i to quickly say I haven't had a windshield washer fluid in my car for like <laughs> about two years now and I always knew it was leaking ever since I put on the aftermarket fenders whoever put them on whoever I paid to put them on I guess uh, didn't install back this correctly but um I figured out the leak it was through this this wasn't down all the way and the grommet like wasn't in place next day day two we back at it let's get to work I'm sorry boys, I didn't record me doing that bro, that was probably one of the most annoying installs. I just want to make sure everything lines up, at least a tad bit. just want to make sure everything lines up because that was super annoying. I think that might be good, not too sure, but it seems like it is. Everything, body line, everything's on point, so... Yeah, I'm gonna start putting the side skirt back on and we should be good. Okay, boys, so kind of had something go wrong. My camera died. Right now, this is how the super looks. Fenders are back on as well as side skirts and the door garnishes, right? Right? So, the door handles. Now, there's a little piece in here, right? And it ended up falling inside the door jam now. At first, it was at a spot where I can get to, but now it isn't. So I'm gonna try and run to Harbor Freight and see if I can get anything that I can stick in there to try and get it out, whatnot. But hey, man, I don't, I don't know what's gonna happen from here. I guess we'll see. But um, yeah, I'm gonna stop right here for now and head to Harbor Freight and see if I can get something that will try to at least help me get this thing out. It's like, I don't know if you guys can really tell, like, I don't know if you see in there, but like, uh, let me see if I can even, it's like weird, the door shut on its own, and now I can't find it at all, so. I kind of finished up, um, the other door handle, it's gonna be a minute, but um, I'm gonna take this thing for a spin, bro been too long and I might get pulled over because I got no plate or nothing on it but I don't care I just want to enjoy the car feel me so we're gonna take it for a little spin super loud now I got no mirrors nothing so, 
This is gonna be fun. <laughs> I need to hurry up and take this thing home. I don't know what I was thinking, but she's super cool. She looks amazing right now. But I need to take her ass back home. I have no plate, nothing. <laughs>